Hello everybody, back here for another section of my Idiot's Guide to Woodworking um, at part two of my coffee table build. And as you can see, um, I've got two of them going on now. Actually, I got technically I guess I have three. But my plan is to hook those two together and make it more of an end table kind of size. Um, it's going to be roughly two foot by two foot. Um, a little bit, of, it's like about 24 and a half by on one side and 24 on the other. So not exactly square, but wasn't really after square. So one of the things I've done on this one that I thought was a little bit different, as opposed to wasting all the pocket hole screws like I did on my first one, I glued it to a piece of OSB that I had just some free scrap stuff left over that I got from a factory that was no longer using it. So, so far, except for the screws, everything and the glue, I guess I bought the glue. Everything so far has been um, free scavenged stuff. So I guess I'm upcycling it, is what a lot of people are calling it now, as opposed to recycling it. The one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to put a little bit of a lip on this table. I'm gonna have my trim piece stick up um, proud, as opposed to this one down here, which you can see is perfectly smooth and level. So in the process of doing that, no big deal. I have to do is come in, cut a um, dado, this same size as this board here, no problem. Well, easy to do, right? Not if you don't have a dado blade. And even if I actually had a dado blade, my little crappy um, skill saw, little portable contractor saw, does not have an opening. I doubt it's gonna show in there. The shaft on it is not long enough to accept a dado blade. And that does me no good now. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to recreate this myself, which is also not something easy to do on a board that's warped, as you can see. I don't know if you can actually see or not. This board right here is coked quite a bit, and it rotates back and forth. But what I'm doing is I went ahead and just set my table saw blade up. It's running a little over a quarter inch deep. I've cut two grooves in this board so far, and then what I'm gonna do is figure out exactly how high I want this. I'm just inching down so slightly down this way so I can get my little, I'm going for a 1 16th um, proud is what I'm looking for it to be. And I keep thinking I probably need to make it a little bit more proud than that. Now it just actually hit me. I probably need to go at least a quarter because if not, it's going to be too um, weak on top there. So I'll probably go with a quarter proud, which means this line's going to come down here about another eighth of an inch or so. And I'll take that cut. Once I get it lined up where I want, I'm setting it up against this board here. From there, I'm measuring off about the inch and the sixteenth is about how thick that wood is there all together. And then I'll just keep taking pass after pass. And what I'm going to do to do that to cheat over here on the saw is I'm going to start off by just putting in some real thin um, wood all the way up to, you know, basically thick wood until I get two of these pieces, however many it's going to take to um, get the right thickness and basically use my crappy blade as a um, dado blade pretty much just by putting shims between the fence and the board. Once I get the fence set exactly where I want it for its um, like the, the bottom width I guess is what I'm looking for and then I'll reset it all up and I'll do it for the top width and then from there I'll just put the shims in or even move the fence over each time doesn't bother me. Long as I get the um, top and bottom exactly where I want it I'll run all four of my boards through it that I need once they're dead, all I gotta do is auger out the middle and I might even use the router for something like that. I haven't decided completely yet. Just depends on what I come up with. So right now, pretty much what it is is just a lot of trial and error, um, trying to figure out exactly how to get a regular blade into a dado blade on a warped up board. Um, not a real fun thing to do, because as you're pushing this board through the wood to the table saw, you're um, twisting and kind of moving around a little bit. And if I can show you here, the difference between these two, this will focus, that little step right there in the middle, right here at the tip of my thumb, is the difference between how far down it's pushing that board at the very end because of the warping. So I'll have to go back in and recut that. Actually, I'll probably cut that end off, it won't matter, because you can see it's splitting out pretty good, so I'm gonna probably cut the board back to here, so it's gonna steal a little bit of that problem out of the way for me as soon as I get done cutting that off, so. Anyway, um, that's all I know for right now, and hopefully I'll figure out something else, and I'll get back to you soon. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and thanks for watching part two.